another glue booking session. This is Liz from Liz at Home and as usual I'm excited to do some glue booking. I'm mainly going to glue in my new random glue book. This is a big random glue book coining Nicole at Relax Cut and Glue's phrase of the big random. Let me know if you think I should do something on the cover or just make a name there. I quite like this boho rainbow of this composition notebook that I bought at Amazon. I started this glue book and I haven't shown you what I've done. I've done a couple of pages which are not finished. I've done that page, the which I'll leave like that, the inside page. And here I'll still add some things. I've just done the sort of squares and then I added a page where I need to do collaging. I've done some more squares and rectangles here. Love this. I'm so pleased I finally got to use this image. It's been sitting in my collection for ages and I'm pleased I got to use that tiger. But now I need to add little fussy cuts and things. But I'm quite happy with these two pages. I'm sort of learning to glue a book from Nicole at Relax Cut and Glue, so um, I'm using a lot of the techniques that she teaches. This is another page that I have from Bridget's Spring Collage book, um, and I need to add some decorations, which I'm quite excited about, and I added washi around the outside. I actually took the book to a copy place and copied some of the the backing papers that I loved the decor the designs on. Super glad she brought out a background pages for her summer collection. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys. So I don't know if any of you have watched my video of my Timu haul but I got a book binding kit and here's the desk mat that I got. I hope you like it. I'm quite pleased with it and I've made my first little glue book and then I couldn't decide what to do with it and so I choose to have joy and fulfillment in my life. I decided I'm just going to glue whatever makes me happy so it's kind of random and I've done the inside. This is the first book binding I've ever done and I've done a page and this is sort of what it looks like. Glued a page extra in there, glued that extra in there, that and then these are the pages in the book I made. So I quite enjoyed it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It's my first attempt though and so I was quite pleased with it. Used papers and it's a very small, just one signature with a three hole that's just some washi tape because this paper actually tore with a three hole, what you call that, pamphlet stitch and there's the back. So I don't have a theme for it and as you can see it doesn't meet properly. I'm very bad at, uh, at um, measurements and things but for this I used also from the Timu haul there was a, a cover on one of the collections of paper and I used that for the outside of the book. So I'm not going to glue in that today. I'll glue in that this little one next time. I'm going to glue in this today and I wanted to do another page of squares and rectangles and then when I've got more of them done we can do some fussy cutting. So I thought I'm actually just going to go on to page two and try to and then I'll go from the back again. So I've got some squares and rectangles and things. I've got a few here and I thought I'd just take them out. Um, so I've got, I want, got, I've got a lot more cut as well but I just took some out that 
I thought would be nice to work with and I haven't really tried them but I sometimes get overwhelmed when I'm filming and so I thought I would just take out some, some big ones and some medium sized squares and rectangles. I love this, it actually was a page that I've cut into about two or three pieces. All these, I think they're swallows, some kind of bird nesting on reeds. I like that and I think I want to put that actually almost fits perfectly there. I don't know if I should put it down already. Maybe I should not get myself too kind of anxious about things. So I've been colouring again and I was so excited with my Timu haul and actually I have some more Timu things arriving today that I'm quite excited about. It's been very rainy and very wet here so we're really having a wet winter which is great because it will probably mean that there are not terrible water restrictions in summer which will be excellent so there you go go down I don't know if... did you know that beetroot if you are prone towards kidney stones you shouldn't eat beetroot my son-in-law has recently been getting kidney stones, which are so painful. And um, his doctor told him that he shouldn't eat beetroot. He gave him a whole list of things, like a dietary list. Ugh. I'm having a problem, guys. Help. Let me use this. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have glued here into the spine. Yeah, I suspect that I should not do the other pieces, but maybe it's just here at the front of the book that it's awkward but I like that it was long I like this piece there or should I put it there you see I think I must just put it down I like with the sky I'll put it up at the top I like that sort of blue bee at the seaside it's nice and pinkish Have you ever used these sort of makeup sponges? I haven't, and I can't decide if I should cut this off a bit more, but I like the colors. Let's see what all I've got here. Isn't that gorgeous, bird? <gasps> it's pretty. I like that sort of a nice colour with this. If I just put that at the edge, cut it off, I'm not sure. What else have I got? That's pinkish. I'm looking for pinkish. But there's quite a lot of yellow as well. Maybe I like this one better here. <laughs> Would be lovely in a way to cut that window out and have the bird shining through. I wonder what that would look like. Not sure. I could 
just cut this off here, maybe. What about putting some, that's very bright there. It's a nice thin one. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? I like that. It was kind of different. It's a nice shape for there. I like that. But maybe I must go with something totally random here. I'm going to put this one here. I think too much. And then I start to doubt myself. But we're gluing and it's fun and I love doing it. It's Saturday today, guys. I never got my gluing video up yesterday on Friday. So I'm going to put it up later today. If it doesn't take too long to edit. As I'm editing, it is now a month and a bit later and no longer Saturday. Apologies for the long delay. I want to just take a little bit off there. Actually, I think I'll take the dark side off rather. Just a little bit. A teensy weensy itty bitty. I must say, I'm not quite sure what this, it looks like she's having tea, but I'm not, I thought at first when I looked at it that she was a cellist or something, but I, I think it's just her clothing and her tea. It's a nice kind of understated image. I need to find another magazine to glue on. This one is nearly finished. I sometimes like reach a stage with, I love fussy cutting and where I've got too many fussy cuts and too many things cut out. And I sometimes feel like perhaps I should just, just glue everything down willy nilly no matter what, but then I don't think I can quite bring myself to do that. Go over. Do you want them to look nice? So now, what to do, what to do, what to do? I like that these colours are all sort of pinks. Let's put some blues. Got the yellow and the blue kind of. There. Let us cut. So I also wanted to do a, sorry, can't think and do at the same time. I wanted to do another grid page with some of the nice papers I bought. So I thought that could be fun to do a grid page in here. I do find when I do grid pages that I don't really like to glue over them so I might just do one and keep it as it is. There I think that's perfect. It is good to go. movie on Netflix the other day. Oh, now of course I can't remember what it was called. I'll put the name up above me. Always when I'm doing something I can't think. 
was so nice. It was such a lovely movie. Like with a feel-good movie. I do get tired of all the murder and mayhem <laughs> that one tends to watch and things blowing up. Where did I put the cover? There we are. Okay. And should I do that or should I put some ginger bear down here? That's your bottom dollar, not tomorrow. Why am I thinking of that? I suppose because the sun is not out. It is dark and gloomy outside. Whoopsie. There we are. I'm trying to learn to speak German because I, I think I've mentioned before that my youngest son and his wife and children live in Germany and the grandchildren are all German. There are two of them and the youngest one doesn't really speak any English. The oldest, older one they raised bilingual but the youngest one was born in COVID and you know when you just stay at home you tend to speak your own language. So he is very much just German. In a way I kind of like this image on the back here. It's just the right sort of colours. But no, I do like this though. Ah, what to do, what to do. Um, so I decided, so on Skillshare, I've started a German class. And um, I also bought a book on Amazon. It's got short stories in a short in German, um, but it's got a translation as well, which is quite cool. And if I just make a small one there, no. I think I might need to find something else for there. Meanwhile, I'm going to carry on with this side. So I love this picture with the bee and the bird. So let's put the bird up there. Put it there rather on the edge and the bee, birds and the bees. <laughs> um, keep coming up with this picture. That could fit there afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna put those two down. It's so much fun to glue. I do love doing it. This was a new glue stick and it's already coming off in little bits. Oh, it's, it's funny, you know, when I made that little, the little book, I was just so keen to try my book binding out and see if I could figure it out. I'm very, very bad at following directions and doing things like, I, I didn't think I'd managed to make the little book, but um, I managed and I was quite chuffed with it when, I, when it was finished. But once I'd done it, I started to feel like, I can't even say stressed, but mildly stressed, like, now what? What do I do? I wonder if I should cut this down a bit so something else fits in there. Um, 
it was such a funny feeling of um I don't know, I just love that whole picture. I'm just going to put the whole picture down. It's like such a weird feeling of... of um, I was... I felt accomplished with what I'd done. And then, on the other hand, I felt now this is a little book I need to give it a theme and then I thought oh what can I put on the cover and I wanted to do it and I wanted something that went with the floral paper I'd chosen so I chose the little owls then I thought shall I make this an owl glue book and then I looked through everything I had and of course I could find like no owl images not in any magazines I found one in a cut and collage book um, and I thought, no, that's just going to be too difficult. And I got all stressed about it. And then I thought, I want it to be a dog's picture, but I've put the owl on the cover. Now what do I do? And it's just so stupid, you know, the way one can kind of stress about things that don't matter. So now I'm just gluing this here because... I can see because I'm on screen, I decided I'm, um, you know, it must look good. So now I'm starting to stress. So I'm just going to glue and see what we get. I've been like battling a bit with anxiety just lately. Again, I used to struggle so much, but I haven't even been taking medication lately since I retired. I've been so much better. And then all of a sudden, um, things can kind of just get on top of you. So there's that. I quite like the C here. Let's put this, why don't we put the C up here? No, don't like that. Don't think my curtains are going to work. Shame, I try those curtains everywhere. They never seem to work. I love this place. We've been there. It's called Dalebrook. It's um, close to St. James. It's about an hour's drive from where we live. So I think that so far is the best one there. I like all these yellow images. In a way, I almost feel like going to another page. I'm just gluing some of these things down. Should I put this one here? I'm not convinced. I'm going to start another page somewhere further back and glue some of these nice pictures down. I want to use this. So, I think I'm just going to put it there and then I'll have to find something to do around it. When I glue, when I'm not on camera, I always listen to audio books and then I get so involved in the story. I just, my brain works better when I'm not thinking. I used to find the same when I played the piano. I'm a very bad pianist. I mean, I actually did piano teaching at university before I got on the singing thing. And I think I can honestly say that in all my years of playing piano, I have never played through anything without at least one mistake. And I used to be playing a piece like a sonata or something. I'd be going along and then I'd think, oh, this is going well. And boom, splat. <laughs> It'd be a mistake. And it's, it's like your brain just gets in the way. I want more flowers. I like the flowers. And I like this weird picture. I like this weird one. So I think I'm going to just put it down. Got a blob of glue there. It's like this um, whole house that had grass all over it, like grass is growing over the whole house. I don't know if it's grasses or 
looks like it. But I mean, I wonder how, how you would manage something like that. If it's grass, then it grows. Then do you take a lawnmower up the side of your, <laughs> of your walls? <laughs> I wonder, I don't know, the mind boggles. see this blue here. Let's put some other bluish images down. Maybe in the middle. Put a yellow one here. Put the well, I've now sped up the end of this video because as I was editing, I was getting so in my own head that I was irritating myself and I'm pretty sure I must have been irritating all of you as well. So I've decided to do it at a lot faster, just so we can see how these pages end up. And I ended up doing some of them off camera. And um, I've also cut out a few small little things from a seed catalog that I had that were lovely and almost like the size of washi tape, but they were actually from a seed catalog and they fitted that space and I put a little bit of something just over the top there which was almost like a fussy cut but I thought it fit the bill very well and covered the space and I ended up kind of liking the two pages that I'd done or the four pages that I'd done and then I'll get another video up and show you what I do about adding the fussy cuts and everything. I do want to apologize for the long break in not having made any videos at all but I decided to take a break and just enjoy my crafting and my painting in my own time and I'm feeling much more up to making videos again so hopefully there'll be many more coming your way and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing how these pages ended up and I'd like to say thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, have a wonderful and creative week. Bye-bye now.